welcome back to my channel. So today, if you hear that in the background, that's just my cat playing with ping pong balls. Oh my goodness, she's so silly. Um, anyway, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my blush collection video because I've done my foundation collection, I've done my palette collection, I've done my highlighter collection, my foundation collection. I think the last big category is blush at this point. And I have a lot of blushes. I like making this video kind of makes me feel anxious because I just have so many blushes and I feel like I only have, I mean, I only have two cheeks and you need so little blush and I just, I have too many blushes. So making this video is making me a little bit anxious. I've been trying to not buy blushes for like, I don't know, like two or three years at this point. And every time I try to be on like a no buy for blush, it just doesn't work. I end up buying blush anyway. So today I'm just gonna like go through my blush collection and show you what I have. And spoiler alert, it's just like way too much. It's way too much blush. It's an absurd amount of blush. So I put all of my blushes in this Sephora box and I'm just gonna go through and see what I have in my collection. So first off, I have this um, face palette from ELF. I did show this in a haul, I think a few weeks ago. So you, you guys have already seen this. Um, I'm counting it as a blush because it has, it has a blush, there's two blushes, a bronzer and a highlight, but I really decided I don't really like the highlight in this palette and I don't really like the bronzer in this palette. So I essentially just use it for blush. And I think these blushes are, these are the two blushes, this one and this one, as you can, you can probably see. I think these blushes are really pretty for pale people <laughs> like, like me. Um, they're not very pigmented. They're just kind of give you a very natural, very light, pretty, you know, like it's natural. Natural is a good way to describe it. Like flush to the cheeks. I think it's very flattering. I have been using it a lot recently. You can't tell because with blush, you need like the tiniest, tiniest little amount, which is why I never ever use up blushes. So next up I have two, um, I have more than two, but I have two ColourPop blushes. Um, these are both the, the Kathleen Lights collaboration with ColourPop. They're her blushes with ColourPop. I made a video about these, like a, oops, let me pick that up. I made a video about these a few months ago. I do like, I have, I should show you what I have. So this one I think is, this one is I Need Space. It doesn't have the name on the back because this is just like a generic ColourPop con compact. But I think this one is called I Need Space. This one is called Lunar Has It, or maybe it's reverse. I think both of these blushes, this one is more pink, this one is more orange. Um, not orange, peach. But both of these blushes are really pretty. I like them a lot. I use them a lot, especially the more pink one. I think it's called I Need Space. Like this one is really pretty. Like it has kind of a bit of a sheen to it. It has kind of a purpley undertone. I think it'd be great for like lots of light to medium skin tones. I think it's very flattering. Um, yeah, I like these a lot, but like I'm never gonna go through these because these are huge pans, but like, um, they are very affordable. I like them. Next, I have this giant blush palette. Let me show you the inside. See, we have blushes and more blushes. And there's also like one or two highlights in here. Oh, I think this is a highlight. Maybe there's just one highlight. This is a, what's it called? It is the uh, Color Wheel Amazonian Clay Blush Palette from Tarte Cosmetics. This was their Color Wheel Amazonian Clay Blush Palette from Tarte Cosmetics. This was their holiday release. I want to say two or three years ago. I, again, I use this all the time. You cannot tell. You cannot tell how much I use this. These blushes look untouched. I mean, some of them I don't use very often, but especially on this side, I use a lot of these blushes and they just look untouched. Uh, but I really like Tarte blushes. I think the quality is really good. And like every year, most every year, they release some sort of like blush collection. And I think they're a really good value if you want to try Tarte blushes. Cause I think Tarte blushes are beautiful and you get so much product for, for the money you spend. So probably like you could get one of these and it would last you your entire life for blush. But yeah, I really like this. This is great to travel with. Can't get it anymore because it was a holiday limited edition collection, limited edition item, but um, yeah, I like it a lot. Next up I have from Too Faced. This is the Perfect Flush Blush in Candy Glow. And I, again, I've had this for a long time and you cannot tell. <laughs> There's like, very little. I'm kind of trying to pan this blush, but I'm not trying very hard. I should try harder. 
Um, this is a very pretty, like, um, kind of has like a slight shimmer to it. Just very pretty, like light pink, like slightly like glowy blush. You could probably even use it as a highlight if you really want to. This is, um, you can see it's got like different stripes of color here. I kind of just mix them all together on my, on my brush, but I think this is really pretty. I especially like it in winter. Um, I use it a lot. You just need like the tiniest bit, of course. Too Faced makes really, like a lot of Too Faced products I'm kind of like, eh about, um, but Too Faced does make really pretty blushes. So I really recommend their blushes. I don't know if you can get this anymore. They may have discontinued this. I got this a while ago, uh, many moons ago, um, but it's pretty. Okay, so now I have a blush that I don't really like. This is the Catrice Illuminating Blush in La Vie en Rose. I just don't think this is that good, <laughs> basically. You can see like it's got this pretty like embossed design. Like the color looks like it would be pretty. It's kind of like, I just feel like it applies weirdly to my skin, but I keep it for some reason. I use it sometimes. It is a pretty color. I just don't lo love how it looks like on my skin, on my cheeks. And you have to use like a very light hand because it's like very pigmented. And then you have like clapped cheeks if you put too much, but yeah. It is an affordable blush. It's like the most probably, well, no, this one. This one is more affordable. This is the, the e.l.f. palette. It's one of the more affordable blushes in my collection, but yeah, not so great. Not so great. Oh, so like I totally forgot that I have this blush. This is the Sleek Makeup Blush in the shade Suede. I think this is, yeah, this is kind of like a, this is kind of like a peachy shade, kind of like an orange shade. It's like a tiny bit dark for me, so I usually only wear it in the summer if I have a little color, like a very little color, because I don't really tan. But it's kind of a peachy shade. It's pretty. I think I bought this because Kathleen Lights said she liked it. It's a very Kathleen Lights shade. Whenever Kathleen Lights recommends a blush, it's always like this color. It's actually very similar to her Lunar Has It blush that I just showed you in color. Um, so yeah, I think the formula is good and stuff. I just don't use this one a ton. I, like I said, I almost forgot that I had it. So. That tells you something, I guess, but it is more affordable, so that's good. So next I have this little Tarte blush. I think I got this, I think I bought, like another year, I bought a Tarte blush, holiday blush collection with a bunch of these, and I gave some of them away as like gifts to like my friends or whatever, but I kept this one for me. This is um, in the shade Embellish, and you can see it's very tiny. I often forget I have it. I try to use it. I'm like kind of trying to pan it, but again, like I'm not trying very hard, but it is a very pretty like neutral shade. I really like the formula, but again, like this is all you need for a Tarte blush. Like this, this amount of blush will last you for like 10 years as a Tarte blush. Tarte blushes, great, cool. I like them a lot. So everyone on the internet hated this product, but I kind of like it. So this was from Max, um, Mac Cosmetics, their Boom Boom Bloom collection which it was their spring collection. And they released this product and they said it was a highlighter and it was not a highlighter. <laughs> it was just kind of, um, it had like an overspray of like glitter, which was weird. And then underneath it was just kind of like a matte powder. So I don't know why they mark, it wasn't really, it's not completely matte. It's kind of got some like shimmeriness to it, but not really like very, very subtle. So I don't know why they marketed it as a highlighter. I think it's really more of a blush or maybe like a finishing powder. Um, but it's just like a very, very pale, um, like matte pink powder. I like it as a blush because I am pale. You can't get it anymore. It was limited edition. Everyone on YouTube hated it because they were like, this is supposed to be a highlighter. It's not a highlighter. <laughs> so yeah, it's not a highlighter, but I like it as a blush. Very, very pale pink. You can't get, like I said, you can't get it anymore, but I like it. I think it's a good blush. Again, this is going to last me forever. It's such a big pan. Next up, I'm not going to open this because it would make a mess. I have this blush from Bare Minerals. This is one of their loose blushes. I don't use it very often because um, when you use it, it makes a big mess because it's a loose powder. Um, but it's in the shade Vintage Peach. My friends got this for me. It is really pretty, a really pretty blush. I do like the color a lot. It's just kind of messy to use. It's kind of like a pinky peach color. Bare Minerals makes really good products. I don't know why people don't talk about them more. Yeah, I like this. Um, I don't know if they discontinued this formula or not. I know they came out with new blushes recently. I really want to get one, <laughs> even though I said I'm like on a no buy for blush, but like, let's be real. That's not, that's not really what's happening in reality. And so I want to get one of their new blushes because I swatched them at Ulta and I was like blown away by how beautiful their blushes were. Um, yeah, but they make good products. I recommend. So this is probably my most, my favorite affordable blush. This is um, by Milani. This is their Romantic Rose Powder Blush. Like you cannot tell that I have used this like 50 million times. Like it looks 
uh, untouched basically you can still see like the rose embossing on the powder and everything um but i use this all the time this is such a pretty like neutral pink for people with like light to i guess light to medium skin tones it's just really a gorgeous blush and it is you know really um, easy to build up you can really like control the amount of pigment you get it looks very nice and natural on the skin it's just a really great everyday blush so if you're looking for an affordable blush i think this is a milani makes good ones especially this one we're, we're about halfway through this box i think this is the most expensive blush i have so when i first like got into makeup like back in the day back in college like everybody was like on youtube would, would talk about nars like nars was like this magical brand and if you got NARS makeup you would suddenly just like have a different face um, so I bought a NARS blush like I didn't know what I was doing I bought a NARS blush it is way dark for me you can you can tell this is too dark for me like look 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 at look at this and look at my face look at this and look at my face it's too dark if I use like a very light hand I can get away with it but it really is not a good shade for me this is the shade um Dulce Vita by the way but I keep it because I just paid so much money for it it was like 30 some dollars and I was like if I get this blush then I will I will look like you know I'm on YouTube or whatever um which did not happen but you know I do think NARS has a good blush formula if you are in the market for a, a, a an expensive blush but again you can also get good blushes from the drugstore so i don't think it's really necessary but yeah that's my my nars blush buying story so i have this this is like a super like classic of youtube this is the luminoso blush by milani i think everybody back in the day bought this because jacqueline hill like way back in the day like in 2015 14 around that time like Jaclyn Hill is recommending this in like every video and so like everybody in the makeup world went out and bought this blush and it is a very pretty blush it's like a very nice pinky peachy that kind of color it would be very good for most I think good for basically all you know light to medium skin tones it's very flattering on a lot of people and again like I've used this a lot and you can't really tell but I think this is a nice formula I do think it's a good blush um you can still get it they definitely still make this blush um, so yeah, if you're, you're interested in that type of color, I would recommend it. So I have another one of these Milani baked blushes. I think my mom gave this to me because she bought it and then decided that she didn't like it. It is a little dark for me. This is the shade Rose de Oro and it's just kind of a, kind of a dark, darker pink with like some gold. It's definitely a pretty color. It's just a little bit dark for me. So again, like I, I don't know why I'm keeping it because it's too dark for me. Um, but I am so. There's that. But yeah, I like this formula a lot. The formula of the baked blushes is really good. So I do recommend that. I think this would be good for somebody with a more a more medium to deep skin tone. So this is one of the newer blushes in my collection. This is the Love Struck Blusher um, from J Cat Beauty. Yeah. And it's in the shade, what's it called? Sweet, sweet pea pink. Um, one of my friends got this for me for my birthday because it has a cat on it. You can kind of see it. it's embossed with a cap. And I really like this shade. It's a little bit, I kind of have to have like a tiny tan, like a slight tan to wear this because it's a little bit deep. Like it's not even too deep for me. It's just too pigmented. Like if it was a little less pigmented, it'd be fine. But it's a very pretty um, shade and I like that it has a cap on it. And it was, I think this brand is very affordable. So I would recommend it if you're looking for affordable blushes. I think it's super cute. So next, I made a whole video about these. Um, so I'm not going to talk about them too much. But this is Tarte's blush release this year. I bought it. It's a, like, basically, so it has three trios. These are the trios, obviously. And each one has three shades, obviously. And But they still sell them together in this, like, set of nine for, like, $35. It's a really good deal if you want lots of blush. There's also some highlighters and bronzers in here. But mostly I just use the blushes. So, like, it folds out. Like, let me show you. Here you have them. Doesn't that look cool? It's very cool. So um, I use this one and this one a lot because it has more shades that are better for my skin. But I think this is a, these are really good quality. These are pretty cheap considering how much product you're getting. So I do definitely recommend these. You can still get them right now. They're the holiday release, so they'll be gone probably you know soon at the end of December, I would imagine. But yeah, these are really cool. I totally recommend them. I should say what they're called. Nine Ways to Shine Cheek Wardrobe. You can get it at Ulta, you can get it at Sephora. So the next I have this little blush. This is probably in my top five blushes. This is like one of my absolute favorites. This is by Fiona Styles, which is a brand that like came and went 
really strangely. It was like Fiona Styles, I believe, is a makeup artist. Um, she had her own brand. It was at Ulta. Um, lots of people like bought it and reviewed it and gave it positive reviews. And then it just like disappeared. Like they stopped selling it. I don't know if it still exists, um, but I bought when it was like on clearance at Ulta, I bought a bunch of like Fiona style stuff. And I think it's, it's good quality. So I'm disappointed that they don't have it anymore, but this is one of her blushes. The shade is called Sweet Water. You can see it's very pale, like, you know, neutral pink. It's like a perfect everyday blush. I use it all the time. I have other colors that look like this. It's a really good color for um, people who are, you know, have lighter skin tones. It's very flattering, goes with almost every look. So I use this a lot. So next up I have this blush from Wet n Wild, which is um, their pearlescent pink blush. Um, you can tell how long I've had this because it's in the old Wet n Wild blush packaging. Oh, would you look at that? It's not even open. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I think I had, yeah, I'm remembering now. Okay, I had, if it's not open, maybe I should just like give it to somebody because clearly I'm not using it. I had a couple Wet n Wild blushes and um, they were all like too deep for me. So I think I just gave them away. Yeah, this is a weird, um, weird moment. I don't know if I like this because it, I never used it apparently. I don't think I've had Wet n Wild blushes before in the past and I didn't really love the formula. So maybe that's why I didn't open this. Interesting. Interesting discovery we just made together. This is by Makeup Revolution. Yeah, when it was still Makeup Revolution and not Revolution Beauty or I Heart Makeup Revolution or whatever their brand name is now because I cannot tell. You can tell this was very clearly supposed to be a knockoff of this blush. I mean, it's very, it's very obvious. You can totally tell. Like even the back of the packaging is like, the same. So I I bought this because I wanted to compare them and I think this one is good. I don't know if you can buy this anymore. This is, I should tell you what it is. It's the Blushing Hearts Baked Blusher in Candy Queen of Hearts. So like even the name is the same because that other blush was called like Candy Glow. So it's a very similar product. This is a pretty blush. I do like it. I do think that Makeup Revolution makes nice blushes and nice highlights. It was much cheaper than the Too Faced one and it's like pretty good. So, I mean, if you see this around, I would recommend it, especially if you um, are looking for something that's kind of a dupe of a high-end product. So next up, I think I got this from when I was still getting Ipsy. I'm pretty sure I got this in an Ipsy or something like that. This is the Hot Mama blush by The Balm. I really like this blush. It, it's actually, it's very similar to, to Milani Luminoso. You can kind of tell. Um, it's kind of a pinky, peachy gold shade. Um, it's very pretty, it's very flattering. Again, I think it's a little better for the summer if I have like a little more color in my face, which I don't have any color in my face right now. Very pretty, I've used it a lot, but you can't really tell. Balm makes really good products. No one seems to talk about them, so it's kind of like always a little strange. But yeah, the Balm makes really good products. I totally recommend them. I think they're great. So yeah, this is a really pretty blush. And the packaging is so cute. Look how cute this is. It's adorable. So next up, I have two of these. These are the, um, what are they called? Vivid Baked Blushes by Makeup Revolution. I don't think these are available anymore. I'm not gonna open this one because it's broken, so it'll just like fall out. These are, they're good blushes. They are very pigmented. Like you have to use like the lightest, lightest hand with them or you just have like clown cheeks, right? <laughs> Which is not good, not what we want. So this one is called Loved Me The Best, and this one is called All I Think About Is You. And they're very pretty, like they're very like pretty colors. Like I said, they're just super pigmented, so I don't use them a ton because I have to be like, okay, dab very, very lightly, dab very, very lightly on the cheeks, and then blend, blend, blend. So it's, it's a little bit like anxiety inducing to use these blushes, um, but they were cheap. I think they were like $6 each or something like that. So yeah, Makeup Revolution makes, you know, good, cheap, Face products, I do recommend them. Um, these are cute. Like I said, I don't think you can get them anymore, but they are. If you see them around, I would recommend them. I think this might be the oldest blush in my collection. I think I, I got this as like a sample from Ulta like a long, long time ago, and it's probably like way expired and I shouldn't like have it anymore, but this is the Laura Geller Bright, um, Blush and Brighten Pink Grapefruit Blush. Oh, look at that, all the powder's falling out. <laughs> it has a lot of fallout. So this is just, you know, kind of a pinky, gold, deep, neutral sort of blush. 
Um, it's a little deep for me, so I don't use it that often and it's old, but I'm keeping it, I guess, for nostalgic reasons. I don't know. I don't know why I'm keeping it. I do think Laura Geller makes nice products, but they, I think they're a little overpriced. Um, so I don't think I would recommend this if they still make it. I'm not sure if they do. Then I have some blushes that I know they still make and I definitely recommend. Um, these are the Too Faced Love Flush blushes. I use these all the time. I have I Will Always Love You and Baby Love. And I think I use Baby Love more often. You can see this is more of a neutral shade. This is like a very, this is like the definition of like a neutral peach shade. It's just very neutral. I use this all the time. Um, and this one is, has more of a coral, you can tell, there's more of a coral, orangey, peachy kind of thing going on. They're both like gorgeous. These are beautiful blushes. These are really good. Totally worth the money. I think they're like 20 some dollars each. Yeah, I totally recommend. I use them all the time. Really beautiful on the skin, really good quality, and they will last you forever. So yeah, good. And look how cute this packaging is. They're like candy hearts. Adorable. Last but not least, I have two blushes. These are like the newest to my collection. I think I showed them in a haul recently. Um, these are the Midnight Masquerade blushes from ColourPop from their Disney collection. Their Disney Midnight Masquerade collection. So I got the one for Rapunzel, which is called um, Floating Lights. And I got the one for Belle, which is inexplicably called Enchanted Mirror. I don't know why they're calling Belle's blush Enchanted Mirror, but whatever. So the one for Floating Lights is this kind of very pale but bright pink shade. It has a lot of pigment. You have to like be a little bit cautious with it, but it is pretty on um, paler skin tones. So I do like this a lot. It is an appropriate Rapunzel color, in my opinion. And this is actually, I think I'm wearing, yes, I'm wearing this blush today. This is on Enchanted Mirror, and it reminds me of the Fiona Styles blush I've showed before. Um, it's like this very pretty pink with a little bit of peach, very neutral kind of shade. It's very nice, very sheer. I like it a lot. I mean, obviously I'm wearing it today, so I think this is nice. And the packaging on both of these is just like extremely cute. Like, I mean, obviously it's adorable and I like the, the rounded, not rounded, like the, you know, angled corners. I think it's very cute. So those are all the blushes I have in my blush collection. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this sort of content, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Bye.